Lack of transparency is one of their concerns. That's something campaign organizer Abby Friend says was obvious in the days and weeks following the events in East Palestine. It took a really long time for residents to get answers to simple questions like what's on the train? What are you burning and putting into our waterways and into our air. Members of Railroad Workers United and an environmental safety expert spoke about the effects of these Palestine derailment. The event aimed to inform residents about the proposed $1.6 billion sale that will appear on the ballot in November. Norfolk Southern currently leases the 336-mile rail line that stretches from Cincinnati to Chattanooga. The Southern Railway is the only city-owned railroad of its kind in the country. If voters approve the sale, the city plans to use the money to pay for infrastructure improvements. Norfolk Southern currently pays the city about $26 million a year to lease the line. The city is talking about this once-in-a-lifetime huge payment, um, but the reality is like this asset has generated income for generations and generations of Cincinnatians. And if we keep it as a public asset, it'll continue to generate revenue far into the future. In Northside, Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. Early in-person voting begins October 11th with Election Day set for November 7th. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.